Hello, welcome to my video on anomaly scan, which is usually done between 18 to 20 weeks of pregnancy. This is part of my series called Be Aware, Be Prepared, Be Safe. This is an initiative to enable informed decision making by patients. Why is this scan done? This scan is performed to determine whether the development of the baby's structures and organs are taking place normally. We particularly look at the brain, face, heart, spine, kidneys, stomach, hands and legs. We also check if there is sufficient amount of fluid around the baby. What are the parts examined during the scan? During the scan, all the baby organs are examined and measurements are taken. Usually there are three measurements taken. One is the head circumference of the baby, the other is the abdomen circumference and third is the thigh bone measurement. The shape and the structure of the baby's head is also visualized. At this stage, any impairment in the brain development is visible. The baby's face. In the baby's face, we see two orbits with lens nose and lips. We also check for cleft lip, that is a breach or discontinuity between the nose and the lip of the baby. But these are often not picked up as cleft palates because which is inside the baby's mouth which is very difficult to see. The baby's spine. The baby's spine is studied along its length and cross section and to make sure that the, all the bones are aligned and the skin covers the spine at the back. The baby's abdominal wall. The abdominal wall is visualized and to see, check whether it covers all the internal organs at the front as well as check the placenta, umbilical cord of the baby and the amniotic fluid. Coming to the baby's heart. The baby's heart consists, consists of two upper chambers called the atria and two lower chambers called the ventricles. They should be of equal size. There will be two valves which should open and close with each heartbeat. The major veins and arteries carry blood to and from the baby's heart are also examined. The baby's stomach. The amniotic fluid is swallowed by the baby and it is visible in the ultrasound as the stomach of the baby. The baby's kidneys. There are usually two kidneys. One is on the right side and the other one on the left side. The specialist will check if both the kidneys are present and if the urine flows freely into the bladder. If the baby's bladder is empty, it should fill up during the period of scan itself. The baby's arms, legs, hands and feet. The specialist will look at the baby's fingers and toes too, but usually do not count them. The placenta. The placenta will be described as low if it reaches down or covers the mouth of the uterus. If the placenta is lying low in the uterus, the patient will have to come back for another scan in the third trimester to check its position. It is also possible to count the number of blood vessels, that is two arteries and one vein which connects the umbilical cord from the baby to the placenta. What are some malformations which can be detected in a routine anomaly scan? Examples of physical defects that can be revealed by a 20-week anomaly scan include spinal cord defects, neural tube defects, improper formation of the baby's skull, fluid accumulation in the brain, heart defects, a hole or rift in the diaphragm, a major hole or rift in the abdominal wall, missing or malformed kidneys, or missing or malformed or abnormally shaped bones, malformed arms and legs. What are the limitations of the scan? There are some limitations for the scan which must be noted. Though the anomaly scan can detect abnormalities, it cannot identify why it has happened. While the scan is done between 18 to 20 weeks of pregnancy, some defects still can evolve during the pregnancy. Other factors will also include patient's built, 
scars from previous surgeries, and the way baby is positioned during this time of study, which may limit the diagnostic ability of the test. Some anomalies like soft tissue fusion of fingers, toes, absence of an anal opening, or absence of an auditory opening may not be recognizable by ultrasonography. Study of the genital organs is prohibited under PCPNDT Act. Hence, the detection of abnormalities of genital organs is not feasible. Several factors like gestational age at which the scan is done, the fetal position at the time of scan, the fluid or the lyca volume, the shadows from fetal parts may restrict or limit the visibility. This may necessitate repeat scans. Obesity is a challenge as fat the mother's abdominal wall absorbs the ultrasound energy, thus degrading the image quality. Multiple gestation. Let it be twins or triplet pregnancies, they may cause difficulty in ultrasound examination due to fetal position or overlapping of the babies. Is the anomaly scan definitive? While majority of the babies are born healthy, a small percentage stands the risk of developing complications. Even a normal ultrasound anomaly scan is no guarantee of a healthy child as some defects will not show up on the ultrasound. Are any additional scans recommended? The doctor may ask more scans if the patient has twins or triplets, if the anomaly scan shows a low-lying placenta, if the patient has spotting or bleeding from the vagina, when the anomaly scan reveals problem that needs to be monitored in pregnancy, when the patient has either medical conditions such as diabetes or hypertension, and a patient with history of premature labor or late miscarriage. Anomaly scan. To summarize, the anomaly scan is typically done between 18 to 20 weeks of gestation. The scan is performed to determine whether the development of the baby's structures and organs are taking place normally. The brain, face, spine, heart, stomach, bowel, kidneys, limbs, and also the level of amniotic fluid are checked. The scan has certain limitations and cannot detect all possible abnormalities in the baby. Even a normal an anomaly scan at 20 weeks cannot guarantee a healthy baby after birth. For your benefit, we have all this information and more on our website www.chennewomensclinic.com.